All right, I just got it back from the shop. Ooh, ah. Uh. <laughs> um, and I figured out I actually like this bow better than the other one that was in there. You know what? I noticed. Here's the rosin for the bow. Let me see if I can unfold this. This came in that rosin. This is the original made in West Germany rosin. Okay then. <laughs> I'm not even sure it's still any good, but okay. All right, well, I put the original 1983 rosin on this bow just because I wanted to find out if it's still any good. Um, so here's each string. Rosin seems okay. So do the strings. Now, I'm very curious about this E string. It's supposed to be particularly powerful and unique, um, or so it is advertised. Um, I want to see how it sounds, what I think of it. I'm just going to play. I'm totally making this up as I go. It's going to take some getting used to, though. I'm used to this one over here. This one is a little bit bigger. And, uh, yeah, I definitely, it doesn't help that I'm out of practice. You know, I really wish I had more time to play. Um... But my job just doesn't really allow it. It doesn't allow for much practice. Um, and of course, I gotta pay for this place somehow. Um, but, uh, yeah. So I'm rusty. But, you know, I'm still glad I got this. And, um, you know, I think it might um, rekindle my passion for playing. Um, honestly, if I could just tell my job to fuck off, I would. But I'm just not there yet. <laughs> and seemingly, I might never get there. But uh, there's old recordings of me floating around, you know. Um where I actually sound pretty good. But, uh, oh, today is very different. I don't have time to practice, so I'm out of practice. But, uh, it's something for me to work on when I have nothing else to do, you know. So, uh, yeah. <laughs>